when I first saw Lance do the Dove Act, um, I was absolutely amazed. And uh, he was such a great Dove worker that it was almost like a character, like a, a, a automaton performing wonderful, wonderful Dove magic. Amongst magicians, he's he's got he's got it all. He's got the fingers, and he's got the timing, and he's got the looks. He looks a bit like a sort of mutant cousin of Elvis Presley. No, he doesn't. He's too he's too thin. He looks more like Shaken Stevens. Yeah. Sometimes the most difficult aspects of the bird act is not actually doing the act, it's, it's making people care about it, you know, because the magician is trying to fool, and being fooled, being deceived is not a pleasant experience in everyday life. As a magician, we're asking people to, to enjoy being deceived, and that's really the hard part, is to connect with the audience and make them like it. Lance Burton is just stuffed full of doves. I mean, that, it's, it, it's incredible that he can do it, and he'll, he'll just bring a dove out somewhere, but it's because he is packed stuffed full of doves. He can't move. He's got doves up here, doves down there, doves everywhere. That in itself is a piece of magic, that they're all... their heads are all folded under them. I don't know how they do it. There was something very, very odd about him in actual fact, uh, and probably quite kinky. So yeah, if I said I had to sleep with a magician, I have a horrible feeling it might be Lance Burton.